BMX sent me on a course that at the time I thought was cool and awesome. I didn't have any idea it would take over the rest of my life. Jimmy's riding, everything was big, fast, loud. Jimmy was a racer originally. He still had that voice, but it was coming out of this tiny little 12 year old dude. All of a sudden, he had this deep, gravelly voice. Now, what did I do, boy? I rode like a man. He was like the young punk kid that would talk a lot. Rose it almost in a pike position. Jimmy coming from a pro racer, dirt jumper, he explored street riding to that much further, that much higher, and that much faster. He always dressed crazy. He listened to cooler music than everybody. He just had like a Louisville scenester thing going on before any of that shit even existed. The way Jimmy rode street is how I always wish I rode street, just because he just charged everything and went big and flew and got gnarly. Something had to happen. Like all that energy and all that creativity had to go somewhere. You couldn't just do bike tricks all day. I said, what the fuck? We'll start a bike company. That's when we started focusing on trying to build metal as a team and as a company. I think our style just came from our group of friends. All the dudes had a real cool image. They're all like punk dudes that didn't give a fuck. When he was ready to go, he'd take one run at it and then just fire it out. On that, no crap. My brain was just zeroed in on what to do. So bad. And right there, what does he do? Straight to his local, the Cha Cha Lounge for a bourbon and diet. If all that shit would have happened to anyone else, long gone, fucking hightailed it out of here. It was wild, it was loose, it was entertaining, it was tough. The good doesn't last forever. I flatlined and died four times in my coma. You're not gonna stop it. <laughs>